What's going on guys? Stevie from the Minimasters here and today I'm going to show you how to remove your throttle body, clean this gunk off, and put it right back on. For those who are new to my channel, welcome to the Minimasters. I have loads of videos showing how to work on this model year of truck and Broncos of the same time period. So if you need restoration, DIY, repairs, or straight up cool mods, hit that subscribe icon over there, hit the little bell icon, and you can watch me regularly. So let's get back to how we take this sucker off. Okay, so here's the throttle body on the 5.0 Ford engine. It'll also be in the same place on the 5.8, and even the 4.9 will have it in this general area. It's a two port throttle body. And to get this sucker off, basically there's, there's a lot to remove, but I'm gonna start here with this intake tube. And then you just pull it off like that. Next, you wanna take the throttle cable off here and you just need a little pry bar. I have this little trim pry bar right here and it comes right off. It looks like a little ball hitch and that's essentially out of your way. Now, there are a couple of things that are attached to your throttle body. There's a uh, vacuum line right here that you can just kind of pull right off, okay? Now, there's a plate right here that this sensor right here is mounted to that is bolted to your EGR you might be able to shift your throttle body over and then you won't have to take that plate off but we can also cross that bridge when we get there next we'll want to start disconnecting some of the hoses so there's this one right here and using a set of linesman's pinch and you'll want to work it back And they can be a little tough to get off, so you'll just have to kind of pry around it. There we go. Ooh. So that one's got a little bit of coolant in it. So just make sure that kind of stays up there. Next, we're gonna go for the bolts that actually hold the throttle body in place here. You can never have too many extensions. So now the throttle body is unbolted. It should come right off. As you can see there, it's loose and it's essentially free. So a few things to keep in mind. There is a little bit of harness right here on the side that goes to the idle air control valve. So being gentle with the connectors, just you want to work that off. Plastic is very, very brittle. There we go. Okay, and then we have one last hose right here down at the bottom. And again, that looks like it's gonna be another coolant hose. So just be mindful of where that coolant goes. All right, so same thing. We're just gonna bring it up here, see if we can work that off. Okay, so I got that coolant line off the bottom of the throttle body. Getting old coolant lines off can be a little difficult because they're a little encrusted on there. Be prepared for a bit of a stream of coolant and so I actually have a black glove down there with a socket and I just, a long socket, and I just jabbed it right in there and that's uh, holding back the flow. So here's the throttle body. There's one last thing that you have to unhook and it's the throttle position sensor, if I am correct. So I'm just going to unscrew that. Oh man. So I have the throttle body off Getting the coolant hose off was a little tricky because as you can see, it's just a lot of gunk build up over time. It can make it real tricky just slipping it off top and bottom. So here's the bottom. And then of course, the next challenge is your throttle position sensor. These screws are really hard to back out, but the connector is no less easy because you can see Ford put a connector. Well, there's one that I broke off to get it off. So definitely know I'm not perfect. 
So you have a connector there, there, and there. Very tough to get this guy off. So what I did, probably very unsafe, is I used razor blades to kind of hold the, th the tabs up so that I could slip it off. So now that that's done, we can take this over to the homemade parts washer and clean it up. All right, so here we are in my DIY homemade parts washer bin. Don't expect anything too exciting. And uh, typically I do this with some gasoline, but I'm a little out of that right now. So I just have the CRC, you know, parts cleaner and degreaser. Probably not the best choice, but we'll see how it works. I've got a little brass brush if I really get some uh, areas that are a little hard to clean. And then one last thing, on the side of your throttle body is your idle air control valve right here. You can unbolt that and you can actually clean that separately. They actually do have a special cleaner for it. Uh, for this video though, I'm actually going to replace this one with a new one just because at 234,000 miles and something, and I've got a slight idle issue, it's time to go. So let's get started on cleaning this guy up. All right, guys, so here we are back from the cleaning. I didn't show you the rest of the cleaning process because it was kind of tedious, I I'll admit. But as you can see, it looks a lot cleaner. The outside still, you know, looks like, you know, old aluminum. And as you can see in there, much cleaner. And you'll notice that there's probably a few little things still there. The hard part about this is they tell you not to use any hard object when cleaning this. So if you're gonna try to use something to scrape this clean, something metal, you're gonna damage this plate. And I believe that is just not okay. So I was using a little hunk of wood and I was actually just scraping it with that. And that's actually as far as I got. And then um, I probably did something very controversial, but I did use some Dawn degreaser and some water to help clean it up. Now I have let it dry fully and then using my trusty Milwaukee leaf blower over there. Yeah, I blew this thing nice and dry. I also removed the throttle position sensor, cleaned, dried that off as well. And uh, well, if it doesn't work, we'll just have to get another one, which considering this one's kind of grody, I uh, won't be sad to see it go. Now idle air control valve you guys are getting a bonus feature in this video because i'm also going to show you to put that on which is very simple so it's basically gaskets new part and bolts so let's start putting this guy back on here all right so we have a throttle body here throttle position sensor bolts gasket so you're just going to put your gasket down okay place your throttle body your i IAC valve, idle air control, and then you're just gonna start your screws. Now, this is the top side. I know it might be kind of weird uh, from that angle because I'm working upside down. This side has this little piece here which acts to hold the wiring harness in place. And then we're just gonna buzz that one on. Now, this one you're gonna watch because as you buzz it on, this harness piece is gonna wanna spin on you and can snag your fingers. See, hard to hold on to, but it does the trick. So we're just gonna snug these down, make sure we're all good there. Yep, that one's good. And that's good as well. Okay, so we have our complete throttle body here and we're gonna pivot over. So I have the throttle body right here. I'm taking the liberty of hooking up this coolant line and the throttle position sensor. A little forma gasket or perma gasket gasket maker on here is kind of holding this gasket in place because this part can just be a little tricky trying to balance everything so that you can line your bolts up and get it on there. Okay, so there we're lined up. Let's see if we get a nice clean feed. 
Okay, that's one. Two. Three. Four. All lined up. All right, so throttle body's on. Everything's in place there. So let's just start plugging things back up. So idle air control valve, just click that one right in there. And then part of the harness clips right here in the side, that little piece that we had to put on there. There is this vacuum line right here that I have in blue. Push that on there, pull it line. Push that all back on. Come in here with some lines bins and let's work that back on there got it throttle linkage all right and then uh, we didn't miss anything else which is always good okay last piece of the puzzle we're gonna hook this back up one side note if you have done the oil catch can type of mod that I have, you wanna unhook this because this plastic part right here can break off, which mine did, and I glued it back. So just know I'm not the most perfect person out there. So let's line this sucker up right here. I'll tell you, it goes on nice and easy when everything's clean, okay. down we're gonna plug that back into there okay all right that's everything back together and I guess it wouldn't be a proper video if I didn't turn it on all right, guys, you've been with me before. Moment of truth. Oh, yeah. I'd say that worked out really well. So there you have it, guys. That is how you remove your throttle body, doing good clean of those throttle plates and inside the throttle bore so it's nice and crisp. And really, the thing works so much better now. It's so much smoother and you guys can do that too. So check out some of my other videos and until then subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. I'm Stevie from the Minimasters. Thanks for watching.